What's up everyone, it's Dolbeck, today for a great sword video in New World Aeternum. This is about the Gorgon Raid, I was trying something new and you know, I found something pretty good this time. And I was there with the great sword this time, I was... I, I made this build for the la the first boss, you know, with the Calamity counter, you're sure that the, you can survive the tail swipe. It's way more easy to play with the Great Sword and Calamity counter. So, I was there and I started the red like this because why not? And then during the ads at the start, I really liked my build and I was like, okay, let's try it for the rest of the, of the dungeon. And it was working so good. And imagine, instead of using Roaring Rupture like I usually do, this time I use the, the Steadfast Strike. Like you just plant your great sword into an enemy and then you just pull it out and it puts some bleed and it refresh your cooldown. So it refresh your utter great sword cooldown by 20%. It's a lot. So what I recommend that would be to do the you're gonna do the 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 spin. I don't know, sorry, my, my dog is distracting me. You do the spin with the great sword and then you hit a couple times and then you're gonna get the aggro because you're the one doing your both ZPS in your group, you know? Because you have the tall back build. So you're there, you're hitting the mob, you get the aggro, and then after taking two or three it, it starts to get a bit scary. So pop, you pop your Calamity Counter. And when you have regained enough, pop, you pop off your Calamity Counter. And put the Steadfast Strike. By putting the Steadfast Strike, you are going to reduce your cooldown by 20%. Huh? You know? Th have you tried, you, the Great Sword? It worked pretty well in New World. It's the best weapon right there. Guys, why are you not farming Serenity, huh? So, I'm going to show the build guide, like the build that I had. It was not perfect. It was just, you know, I equipped some good item here and here. I think that um, having the Nimble Coat could be maybe a great thing for that. But your damage is more base. On the EV attack, so you better, I think, to go with the Atun Leather Pants like I did. Uh, I think for the Great Sword, the Atun Leather Pants are probably the best because if you think about it, like the haste on the Great Sword is lasting only five seconds, and then it have a ten second cooldown, so you can only have haste every five seconds. So the Wigged Leather Shoes are usable, but mid, and uh, yeah, so. This is it. Chewie, do you think they are good fewer? Huh? You think they're gonna give you candy? Hmm? You better subscribe for this dog. You see him? He deserves a subscribe, bro. Alliance, on prend son toi. Je veux faire de gros câlins. This time, the way I build my great sword is way different than what I usually do. I always played with Roaring Rupture since it's a bit, it's like an ability that clump the mob together. It's like a gravity well, and the best thing about it is the weekend. But with a good group, most of the time you're gonna get weekend cap, so you're not gonna need it, and you're gonna have other great sword users using it. So just why not going for something else? And since I have 25 con on this build, I'm gonna always take the aggro during the ads phase. So this is a good way to survive to that by having the calamity counter and then by having the wary rupture. So you're gonna see I don't have this on. The charger DV attack are not too bad, like the cooldown, but at the same time. You don't really need it if you have a good rotation. And with Serenity, you already have refreshing moves too. So, uh, And by having the Steadfast Strike, you see right there, it gives you 20% cooldown reduction on your two other abilities. So you're always going to use the Steadfast Strike at the end. So you start by the Renatus Rush, you hit a couple times, 
and then you go for the calamity counter when you you get the aggro and you get in trouble and then you, uh, you're gonna pop this at the same time that's gonna help you survive and during that time you pop the steadfast strike uh, while doing some easy attack and, and regaining your relentless rush but usually you don't really need you don't really stay the easy attack during a long time uh, you could be going for this passive i think that i failed by not going by on this passive um and i can take off the ace to put this passive because uh yeah i don't think i need this ace right now this is the hatchet that i use it go really well uh i don't think that i really use the final blue so i can put something else but it's pretty hard to to know where like uh the stuff like this, it's pretty rare that my health is below 30%, so I build it like that. I think you, you can benefit of that a bit. And you see, you gain a bit of stamina there, so when you want to survive, you put out your hatchet, and you do descent DPS, and you can survive. You gain some haste <clears throat> from the Berserker, you gain some haste from the Raging Torrent, so you can just move away if you have to, or whatever you need. And you defy that at the same time. It's just really, really overpower. You're gonna see I pull the spear during a, during a moment, but uh, it, it was just uh, for a, a part of the red, and it, this is what I used. I did not really reread. Re I think it's an old build that I made, and I I just put it on because it, I I wanted to have a spear at that moment. We had no rain, and I just put it on, and it worked. Uh, but yeah, this build is still very good. So I changed an item, but you can still see what I had. Like I'm just missing one point there. Uh, you can try to reach this. And then, uh, yeah, you just put your point like this. And it, it makes the raid kind of easy. I don't think that 25 con is throwing with the great sword. If you have those abilities, it makes it really easy. So yeah, just benefit of it, make as much DPS as you can. Instead of going 100 con with the usual build, why not going 25 con with this build? This is the gear that I used. You see I have a punishing gem. That, that can be a nice thing to have some, but it's not a need. And it goes into your empower cap that is 50%. And then the refreshing torrent is a really nice thing for the hatchet. And the arboreal conditioning for some part of the dungeon is good. This is descent to the azot crystal. You can see I have two pieces. Those are, you get them from mutation. And this this is really good gear for starter. People who are not 725 and stuff like this. Uh, I like it pretty much. I decided to put the two nether pens because I was not going to benefit from the other artifact. And yeah, this is only to boost my stats, the 725. Yeah, I changed my amulet depending on the fight. As you can see, like I had a strike, a slash, and a nature. And then I added so some nature gem at the end to make the last boss easier. I would recommend to put like between 3 to 4 natural gem. Uh, I had one into, slotted into amulet, so I did not add to change on my amulet. If you change this gem on your amulet it can get really confusing i'm only remembering this amulet is this one because of there's a jasper into it i used the brutal artroon of firestorm because i was sure that my teammate was all using vine and we had really good dps so i just wanted to pump the dps even more and i used those uh buff I don't think a lot about using Oak Flesh Bond, but anyway, if I pop one, I'm gonna be dead probably anyway with 25 con. So this is it for the guide part of the video. Now I'm gonna show the gameplay with a bit of music. So I wish everyone a good day. Tell my dog you love it. Peace out. In that video right there, the tank was using a flail instead of using like a great sword or anything that have really good taunt and he had a lot of cons so you're gonna see uh, there's a lot of aggro issue with this build right now maybe the taunt are bugged or something but if you use a great sword as a tank you're gonna have a way better aggro than this for some reason.
The world group was really good into this video but only the tank was new to the game so it was not too hard to carry him around.